Good afternoon and welcome to Crew by Fandon's short service. We've put this together for anyone who's hurt or lonely or sad and grieving at the moment and especially for those who are in nursing homes and for those who are caring for them. Lord, we thank you for music that helps us to worship you, even though we are separated by distance from one another. We ask for comfort and hope for those who are in nursing homes. May they feel your presence and know you see them as precious. May they have your love in their hearts. May they be treated with dignity. We remember in our prayers the recently departed and commend them into God's hands. We pray for those who are recently bereaved and for their relatives and for those who are unable to visit elderly family and friends at this time. We pray for caregivers, for the times that they don't receive acknowledgement for what they do. May they know the importance and beauty of their job serving others and realise that they are bringing you to the people they are serving. Please give them strength when they're tired and when the job becomes stressful, may they remember that one day they may become older themselves and remain sensitive to the needs and challenges of those they look after. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.
Malcolm the Reverend Malcolm Lorimer. I bet that was the Welsh choir, wasn't it? Or it's the Morpheus. Yes, you could tell it was the Welsh choir. I'd like to read one of my favourite passages, Matthew 5. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth, he taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. In the Beatitudes, Jesus reminds us what's important, who the important people are, not the rich and the famous, not the powerful and the politicians, not the people with celebrity, but the ordinary people. Blessed, these are the important things in life. These are the important people. The realities and effects of this awful virus are brought home when someone you love and carry as a friend is caught up in this awful time. Especially, we think of people who have lost loved ones at this time. And things will never be the same when we come out of this pandemic and lockdown. We see in the strange sights of supermarkets, as I did this morning, with queues of people outside, each standing two metres apart. It's become normal now. You get used to it. You get used to waiting outside a shop. I'm not sure whether it would be the same in the middle of winter, with it snowing and hailing, and you're standing there outside with your hands freezing to the trolley. I don't know. Hopefully by then, things may have changed and altered. But although we're standing farther apart from one another, we're also being a lot closer to one another as well. I found myself emailing ringing friends who I've not heard from for quite a time. Friendships are so important at this time, and we can do so much with a phone call, letter, or email. Blessed are the people who write a letter, pick up the phone, email someone who may be lonely, who may be on their own. We may be standing two metres apart, but perhaps we're going to value friends and family more in days to come. Also, the sense of community has never been stronger with people reaching out to help their neighbours, people who are not family, but just people in the community. Of course, the real heroes in this crisis have been the NHS and the staff at the care homes and those looking after vulnerable people. Blessed are they. They are putting their lives at risk every day and deserve not just our applause on a Thursday evening, but our heartfelt thanks. And when this crisis is over, to be properly funded and respected. Churches have been closed. And I feel very sad about that. But it does not destroy our faith. We are learning new ways to keep in touch. And each Sunday here at Crew by Fandon, we we have a little service in the afternoon by Zoom. We even have preacher from America delivering the message. And we look forward each Sunday to that time of fellowship as we gather around our computer screen or our phone. This week we celebrate 
the Holy Spirit come into the disciples' lives and helping them to look at life differently. Jesus wanted to show to his disciples that the important things in life are all around them. They don't have to look very far. And let's make sure that when all of this is finished, the world is not the same as before, but a better, more caring world and valuing what really is important and the real values, which are very special. Amen. Let's pray. We pray, Lord Jesus, to come close to us as you came close to the disciples. May we know your presence with us. And may that presence be empowering. May it be a comforting presence. May it be a challenging presence. May it be a peaceful presence. And may it empower us to service. Help us, Lord, in our lives to follow you. And also, Lord, help us more conscious of those around, that we may be able to respond with those acts of kindness, those acts of care and concern for others. Be with us now, Lord, as we seek to be your people in this world. And help us, Lord, to follow you more closely. For we ask this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our friend and our Saviour.